Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to upgrade your MacBook Pro 2012. This one right here. So what I'll be doing exactly is upgrading the hardware. So in terms of hardware, I mean the uh, HDD to an SSD and the RAM from an eight gigabit to a 16 gigabit. So in order for me to do that, I will need a tool set, which is this one. This is the eDural durable uh, tool set to open up the computer. Um, and of course I will need the Corsair, um, the two times eight gigabit, which is the 16 gigabit power I'll be getting from it. And last but not least, the Samsung SSD 500 gigabit. This thing goes, you can get the, thousand gigabits to 250 uh, but I've gone in the middle on trails in the 500 um, yeah so these are the three things you'll need for the video um, obviously I'll leave the, uh, the the links in the description of the video and um, yeah that's everything that we need to get going and um, give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe okay just so I don't waste your time uh, what I've already done is remove the screws along the sides um, just a small tip to notice is that the screws here so this one that one and that one will be slightly larger compared to the other ones so they will be a little bit larger than the the rest of the screws on this side so that's out of the way um, what we'll need is the pick so this is just basically to open the chassis up, if we can get in there, yeah, there we go. So there's the inside of the B. So what we'll be doing exactly is removing these RAM cards here, which are already pre-installed, and also this HDD to an SSD. So let's remove this so in order to remove the ram card what you'll pretty much need to do is just open these two latches here and then they flip up and you just remove that one that goes there and then do it again for the second one and for it to come out there we go and that goes there too so what we'll do now is just open this one up doesn't matter which which one goes where but what you'll need to do is always line these where that line is so that line seems to be right there so what you want to do is somehow get it in that line Okay, that's the first one in, and now we do the second one. Okay, just align it there. Yeah. And that's the second one in. So the RAM is now installed. Great job. Moving on to the fantastic HDD. So what we want to do is open up all these mini screws along the sides here. And that's this one. So what we want to do from there is pretty much lift this with the latch here. And you'll see it's connected via this black thing here. So what you want to simply do is just remove it. And there we go. This is the HDD removed, and this can also go in the bin now, so I'll just leave it there. Now what we want to do is get the new Samsung SSD out of the box. There we go. That's how it looks like. And that's where the connectors will be going. So this black connector will be going right in there just like that so pretty much so 
So that's sitting there nice and tight. And what we'll do is just add the this thing back in there again, align it, and screw it back together. There we go. It's literally that simple. We have just installed the RAM card from an 8 gigabit to a whopping 16 gigabit. And we've also removed the Sam, uh, the um, uh, Apple HDD to a Samsung SSD drive, um, which is really amazing. And look, that literally took five to six minutes to install. It's that simple. So what I'll be doing now is just putting the cover back on. Simple as that. Um, as mentioned before, uh, make sure that the three long screws go right on the top right hand corner so uh, there we go we've screwed everything in um, we've removed the old hdd um, and the two old eight gigabit cards. Um, oh, that was not supposed to happen. Um, yeah, so now what we're just gonna do is um, turn this around um, and install the operating system. Okay, so now that we've um, upgraded the internal hardware of the machine, um, meaning we removed the HDD, and remove the two RAM cards to eight gigabits. So now the new hardware is in the machine. Um, however, the the new SSD does not have anything installed on it. So it doesn't have an operating system, nor my documents or anything like that. This is where everything is still on. So before I done this upgrade, what I've done is installed an OS, uh, a Catalina OS, on this USB stick right here. So I'll be sticking that in a bit into the computer and booting it up. And I've also made a snapshot time machine backup of my entire drive, which was this one to this external drive here. And what I'll do after the OS is installed is put this in there and do a restore of um, my documents through this Samsung external SSD. So yeah, this is the second part of the video, which is more or less the software side. So the hardware is done. Now we're moving on to the software. Okay, now that we're back on the computer. So what we'll do first is um, um, actually make sure to have power on your computer connected already in case anything goes wrong. Um, so the battery doesn't die and you. you've always got power. Um, have your USB stick, which you have the operating system on, already connected to the machine. Um, and what we'll do is pretty much hit the power on button. And as soon as we hear the chime, we hit out. You then hold out. Takes a couple of seconds, but then we should get into the boot menu. As you can see, we're here uh, in the boot menu. So we choose this one. Um, and now that will take us further. Okay, perfect. So now we're at the Mac OS utility. So what we need to do first is to um, partition the SSD, the Samsung card, uh, the Samsung um, SSD that we've already got in the computer. So we go into disk utility, click continue. Um, and that should take a second. There we go. We've got the Samsung SSD 511. So what we want to do basically is just erase this and format it to APFS, of course, uh, and we're going to name it Apple, all caps, Apple SSD. Perfect. And what we'll do is click erase. Mounted, perfect. So what we can now do is just cancel that and then go back into install Mac OS. And what will this do is basically install a brand new fresh image on that SSD with 
just installed on the computer. There we go, and there it is. Apple SSD, we choose that one and we hit install. And what's happening now is it's installing a factory reset, brand new Mac OS Catalina on that SSD you've just seen me install on the computer. Hey everybody, this part of the video is pre-recorded as the memory card on the camera got full and it wasn't capturing the video anymore. So basically what happens after this screen is you get to the initial welcoming page of the Mac OS where you set up your Apple ID, your username and password and then you get launched into the uh, Mac OS desktop. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you guys have any issues trying this, let me know, drop a comment down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you out. So thank you very much for watching this video. Give this video a massive, massive thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much and see you next time.